back in pure solar. Previous attempt at recording this part failed, but luckily I found out about it before I went too far in. So, we are now at the end of the game. Talk to the old dude, you can proceed to the final section. Or, if you want to go ahead and backtrack, which is what this video is all about, then you need to come over here and start using the media mobile. So we are going to do some laps. I am going to get some of the chests that we couldn't get before. I'm not going after all of them. Most of them either contain spheres, which are the elixir equivalent of the game, or they contain uh, watermelon, which are full gather or something along those lines, I think. So first thing first, we have to return to Raja to pick up the final spell for Alina. To do that, you have to head to Hostin's house. It's somewhere around here. There it is. So, the blonde dude wasn't here before. Who could this possibly be? Well, if it isn't Alina, Hostin, and Asad. Hi, kids. Hi, Dr. Nick. I mean, got Dr. Gilbert, not Dr. Nick. Oh, silly of me. Hostin, I heard your father got really sick right after I left off to Verahansha. What happened? Hostin, tell us what happened. See, and I'm very sorry to hear that. However, that won't help you at all on your mission, but maybe this book will. Receive nurse notes. I just wish I'd met you somewhat sooner. Anyway, best wishes. So, like I tipped off already, that's Alina's final spell. It appears at the bottom of your inventory, I believe. So, she now has life one. There's a depressing scene of sorts if you come in here and talk to Hostin's mom, which of course we're gonna do. Hostin, you're back. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Never mind, come sit. Your friends too. I'll make you something to eat. Would you like some? Where's Rudy? Music change, it's how you know this got serious. What happened to Rudy? Mom? Where's Rudy? Mom, he. No. It's not funny, Hostin. You can't be cruel to your mother like that. It's a joke. Tell me it's a joke. Mom, it's not. Mom? Leave me alone, Hostin. I need a moment for myself. Hostin, I'm sorry. Is she... Let's move out. Is there anything we can do? I said, move out. So, on that note, we have some walking to do. We need to go back to the rock cellar where you got the Leanne spell. There are some chests that you can pick up in the Miho area if you really want to. I don't know if I'm actually going to or I'm just going to speed through here, we'll see. Of course I'm going to be running away from all the fights since they're not worth doing. And this is the way forward. I missed this chest, which has a potion, I believe. And if you're wondering, the shoots allow you to skip a large portion of the terrain here, so you can use those if you don't want to take the proper way back, or in some cases it's just not available to you. These items are probably useless, but I never really use them to figure out what ones are worthwhile and which ones are junk. As you can see, the encounter rate is as annoying as ever.
that's where the rock cellar is if you don't remember. So we have to take the scenic route around the place. chest in the rock cellar I did not get, and we've come all this way for that one chest. What could it be, you wonder? What rare, overpowered piece of loot could be contained inside of that one chest? Control fail? Here we are. Took me a while longer the last time I came through, but I remembered. Master Key, number six. Basically the, basically the final one. There are a total of eight master keys, but the other two are in the area where you can use them, so... Yeah. And now we need to go back. So I'm going to skip to Raja Farm and the Mini Mobile, and then we can move over to the next area and the next side quest. So, stay tuned. Okay, we are now at the Media Mobile. The next place we need to go, if this damn thing works, which it has glitched on me in the past. Let's try it again. We need to go to the Oasis. So if you remember the Lena Letter side quest we started way back when, it's time to find out what exactly is going on here. Hey, where'd Arborus go? Who? The man that was here a while back. Beats me, I just got here a few weeks ago. Don't know any Arborus. This just keeps getting weirder. Wait, I found this in the sand before I set up my tent. Looks like cheap junk to me. Maybe it's his. Found the Arborus ring. It is. Well, it's yours now. Hope you find him. And that's what we came here for. So the next thing we need to do is go into the canyon. And I'm going to grab a couple of the chests here to show you the spheres and watermelon. I am going to be running from encounters like usual. destination is the Goleman Hut, but you can see two chests that we need to, well, we can't reach. So, one opening gives us a sphere, the elixir equivalent of the game. Other opening gives us... Watermelon! And here's the other locked chest. We got a sphere. Now, I don't actually remember which way to go. Right around here is when I noticed it wasn't recording, and then went back and redid all of that, so... Okay, we're through. Goldman Hut... I don't remember, was there anything in here? No, there wasn't. the part that I compared to the Unknown Dungeon from, on, from Victory Road. We now need to go back. And the good news is, with high enough stats, the enemies here don't hurt you, but they just poison you instead. So I'm gonna pop my in here because it's cheaper than opening. Genesis Cart. Does that pop the achievement, or...? around for any other chests. 
but otherwise it was the Genesis card that brought me here. Her salary and became really friendly overnight. He loves our jokes and adds to our wage every time he laughs. But he is still longing for love, though. Boss, what do SNES games and CF labs have in common? I'm clueless. Both have loading times. That was a good one, Curtis. Hello there, I'm glad you came. Please accept this gift from me. I received a master key. Thank you, but a pair of keys? in town that was blocked until very recently when my caliph decided to let it be open. Why he didn't, I don't know. But whoever is worthy to claim the contents of the house is able to do so now. But my caliph did not only block the door to the house, he also locked the chest with his most treasured artifacts inside. With these keys I just gave you, you can put your hands on two of them. But where are the other keys, then? That I don't know. You'll have to find them yourselves. Some may be lost forever. Who is that Caliph of yours? You know him as Ericol. Guess that was enough for you, and I think you have better things to do, so I'll just thank you for your help and wish you good luck. And if you're wondering what he meant by some are lo lost forever, some of the keys are very much missable. So if you have not been following this closely enough, you could be out of luck. So let's go ahead and enter the house now claim our loot. But there are a total of eight chests inside. We have six keys with his two makes eight. We should be able to get everything. Now the guy has stepped aside. You may pass. So let's help ourselves. Prism dress. Isn't that an item in Crown or Trigger? Pixie's whip. That is not an item in Crown or Trigger. Valkyrie. That is an item of Crowdo Trigger. Mithril Rod. I don't think there were any rod users. Crystal Armor. Don't remember that one. Spike Jacket. Definitely not that one. And two that we cannot reach. So we got the Guardian Armor. And prepare for achievement. Elcidion. Okay, I thought an achievement would pop if you open all the chests, but um, the master key one was glitched. It popped way back at the beginning of the playthrough, if you're wondering. But yes, there is one for getting all eight keys. Yeah, that's right. 
So I really do have next to no MP on Alina. So they don't have to open too many chests. And, okay, for a second there I was about to say, as soon as I say that, they give me that. Okay, they give you a crap load of EXP. Liver Arctica, which I already have. Yet. 
animals. Okay, Crawler needs to heal, and since I can't afford to spend the... Whoa, 17. So he has something that cuts his mana costs. I still didn't want them together. I tried to ease their pain with everything we learned through researching pure solar. What did you do? I erased their memories. In much the same way we did after. Oh my god. Elena, you are free to judge my actions, but do understand that pure solar is a power that it corrupts all it touches. To have full control of everything, well, it is a power meant for gods and not men. So wait then, he couldn't still be alive, could he? No, and that is what's curious. Bethana, however, did have a theory. Did she help with this? Of course. Miracle is looking less and less like a good guy. Regardless, your theory is that when using pure solar, we weren't erasing things so much as overriding them. She posited that if I were to do what I did, that somewhere the people that I erased, the ones that loved each other, would still exist. Perhaps outside of this world. I thought it was nonsense. Ghosts don't exist. We saw them. I don't doubt you, Austin. After all, matter cannot be destroyed, only transformed. Everything has to go somewhere, and pure solar goes everywhere. Maybe Bethany was right, and maybe after all this time, those pieces of Arborus and Lena have finally found a way to communicate with our world. Could they really still be searching? their way to find them. It doesn't matter. We don't have time for you all to prying into my past. Yeah, they, that doesn't make sense. Regardless of whatever phenomena you happen to have encountered, our first priority is Bethana. Forget this silly story. This isn't the time to be romantic. Hey, this is all your fault. You owe us answers. Fine, there exists 
is a city under the ocean. It was where Arbors and I grew up, and also where the initial research into pure solar began. Lena loved it. Its beauty was unrivaled, and I believe the two of them wished to wed there. It was one of the things I left behind when we reset everything. I left it as a message, as a warning about the limits of science and the limits of men. There may be clues there. We do have more important things to worry about, and I implore you, keep perspective on things. This is a centuries-old mistake, and I've lived with it for all this time. Please, just leave it be. Okay. Okay, here we are in Tayus, and depending on how I edit things, this is either the start of the next video or the end of the previous one. So, let's see how things play out. We have one side quest left to do, and I damn well intend to do it. So, I just went to Teyus to use the inn. It's kind of convenient, and you may have noticed the location Erg. All we see is water here. So, are we looking in the correct place? Let's find out. This is incredible. I can't believe something like this exists without anyone knowing it. Do you see that? Is it a shark? Arborous. Arborous. I don't think he can hear you. Maybe it's hard for him to communicate with the living. You think that Lena is here too? We need something that will get his attention. Do you still have his ring? He's gone. We gotta catch him. There are two chests in view. Watermelon. Okay, I have good news and bad news. Good news is, despite being under the sea, there is no singing sh self, uh, shellfish for us to watch out for. Bad news is, the enemies here are not water element like you'd believe, so the tunnel does not help. In fact, the enemies are the kind that you find in that place with the beaver, I forgot what the damn place is called, so I'm switching over to feathers just in case there's still earth element. Sherry gun. Mega armlet. And wow, this place is big. How deep does this go? I think it was we finally recognized one item. Ah. 
That's so sad. He's waiting for her. There must be a way to find her. If he came all this way, she must have too. We have to look for her. Something if not, I'll be back in the castle. 